Uh, Juan Lolito, another great name. Do you consider selling a small portion of your Bitcoin into fiat when indicators like Pi Cycle, MVRV, Z, et cetera, topping? Thanks for your effort. No. Um, kind of my, my theory on that is that I, I only spend Bitcoin when I need to. I'm, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm going to keep my Bitcoin, never sell one single sat forever. I'm just not in a position where I can do that. So, you know, if my car needs new tires and I don't have any cash, you know, in the checking account, I have to sell some Bitcoin because to me, the stress of stress and like safety things too outweigh the benefit to holding sats. I'll get those sats back. Like what you want to be doing here is setting yourself up in whatever the, whatever you do to be earning sats every week, every month, you have to be generating a sats flow. So then when you do sense, uh, spend some Bitcoin, it doesn't hurt as bad because you know that you're going to get it back, but I don't pay attention to any of that. I don't care what, if it's up or down, like I don't, I'm not going to sell Bitcoin just because the price is up or there's different factors indicating that I should be selling it. I'll sell, I'll spend it when I need to. I'm not ever going to trade my Bitcoin for fiat just because. So it's a, it's a good question. I think that a lot of people might pay a little closer attention to that than I do, but it just takes too much time. I'd rather spend my time and energy building things to, to generate sats than trying to time things and looking at different charts. <laughs>